hey guys and welcome back to my channel i'm silly but to Bereki, and on this channel i cover everything to do with university life international student experiences and nursing school so today i'm going to be speaking about the five things you need to know before choosing your university whether it's for nursing or for just a general course <laughs> So the first thing is you need to make sure that your university is accredited. So with nursing students, you need to make sure that your university is registered with the South African Nursing Council to make sure that when you graduate, you will have the proper degree. And this goes with any course that you're going to be doing. As a student, you need to make sure that after you graduate, your degree will be recognized in the country that you're studying and outside should you need to go abroad and the second thing is you need to determine how long your course will be is that we determine the cost of the course so for example with nursing you've got the three-year course where you become a staff nurse and this course you can only get it at a college or you have the four-year degree which falls under the new nursing program there's a link in my video as i've discussed on that one so you need to make sure that whatever university that you're going to be applying for you need to know how long your course will be because that will determine the career that you're going to be going into and then in addition to that number three is you need to know the cost of your university yes some universities are more expensive than others even though you end up getting the same degree so you need to determine what type of university you're going to and if it's either a technicon or it is a normal university most give you the same degree but obviously you need to make sure that whatever the end result that you want to have you will receive it at that university for example if you're doing distance learning obviously everything is sent to you via post or you go fetch it and you're doing everything at home so you have decreased costs of obviously the tuition is much lower you have less textbooks that you're buying you have no accommodation fees you are traveling less and that sort of thing but obviously if you're at a university and you are in person and that sort of thing it obviously will increase your costs or if you're going to be doing it part-time versus full-time so you need to look at all those aspects and that will determine the whole cost of your university experience and you need to make sure that it will fit into your budget and should it go overboard then obviously you need to start looking for bursaries scholarships some people even choose to go for notes but i don't think that's a good idea so please do not look at the price of the university and think that a cheaper one would give you a worse of degree or experience even some universities that are less cheaper even some universities that are cheaper they offer you the same experience you get the same degree same information you both pass at the same level so please do not look down on universities that just because they are cheaper another thing that you need to know when deciding a university you need to know how far you are willing to travel for your university for example if you're going to be moving from a different province you need to know are you going to be able to move to that different province to be able to study or if your university is an hour away from your home are you going to be willing to use that one hour to travel back and forth to go to university do you need to move closer to the university so these are very important steps that you need to know because these will affect the cost of your course it will either increase or decrease the total cost that you're going to be spending on university as we already know university is expensive so you need to do or make steps that you make you decrease the cost as much as possible and the last thing is you need to know how big your university is and this is determined by the type of learning style that you have if you're a person who prefers learning with a smaller number of people then it might be better for you to apply to a private university which usually have a smaller number but they are more expensive but they do give you that more personal uh, experience with the lecturer but at a bigger university obviously there's a lot more of you the lecturer might not end up knowing you it's either they will know you because you're a really bright student or you put yourself forward or they will know you for the bad things that you do you need to determine what type of um, attention you need from the lecturer and if you do happen to be in a bigger university you can take the extra step to go introduce yourself to your lecturer make sure your lecturer knows you and to create that relationship 
with your lecturer but obviously it is easier in a smaller university so you need to decide for yourself which one will work best for you that will give you the best learning experience throughout the number of years that you're going to be studying so hopefully you guys will be helped by this video it's nice and short but i believe since now everyone is deciding universities and that sort of thing i thought it was quite appropriate and a lot of people have been asking me obviously for the future what university they must go for and that sort of thing if you're a nursing student i suggest you look at my video on the new nursing program because that will determine the type of university and the course that university has to offer you that is very important but for everyone else good luck with your applications and hopefully it all goes well and thank you so much for watching this video if you would like to watch more videos of mine you can click over here or you can click over here or you can click right over here to subscribe to my content thank you so much and see you another time bye